My 705 has a tiny little 705 inside of it. Actually, it has my logo. Howdy, everybody. Ooh, reflection. Howdy, everybody. Steve here, KM9G. Today, I'm going to show you how to get your own personal picture onto your ICOM 705. Let's do this. If you don't already have an SD card, you're going to need one. If you have a little micro SD card like what the radio requires, you're probably going to need a big SD card to go into the SD card reader on your computer. And if your computer doesn't have an SD card reader, they make little USB SD card readers. I'll leave some links in the description down below for you. ICOM made this easy, but they didn't make it as easy as modern software. Most of your modern software can save the file type, but not the file format which is kind of a nuanced way of saying that a bitmap isn't really a bitmap. In this case, ICOM wants a 24-bit bitmap, as opposed to like an 8-bit bitmap or a 1-bit bitmap. They want a 24-bit bitmap. That really talks about color depth. It needs to be 480 by 272 pixels, which is a really weird, really small size. So whatever picture you're going to put on there, you'll either have to design it for that size up front, or you're going to have to resize it. Most of your favorite photo editors will allow you to resize and draw and so forth. And those are artistic skills that I really don't have. So that's going to kind of be up to you. But when you save the bitmap file, it's going to be the wrong file format. And you're going to get an error on your radio when you try to use it. And that's where a little bit of image magic. And if you're running on Mac OS or you're running on a Raspberry Pi or some other Linux computer, it is really easy to install image magic. And then there are some things for Windows. And I'll let my buddy Hayden tell you about how he did it on Windows in this video up here at the top. Got to put my danger glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. So I use Canva. There's a link for Canva in the description down below. This is what I use to make all of my thumbnails, and it really helps me look like a pro when I'm really not pro. There are better tools out there than this for raw image editing, but this is really more like image composition. So if you're like a Photoshop fan or, I don't know, Illustrator or any other one of those billions of Adobe products out there, go for it. If you want to use MS Paint, MS Paint would probably save this thing directly. MS Paint has so many limitations that I don't have the talent to use it that way. I did have a friend that could do like sci-fi space station pixel art in it. And it was like, wow. Anyway, in Canva, I want to create an image that is 480 by 272, like we discussed earlier. So I pick that or I type it in and I get this blank canvas. And then from there, I can just go out to the web and I can search and find any kind of image that I want. So I put an image of my logo in there or I put an image of the ICOM 705 inside of there. What could we do that would be interesting to put inside of the 705. Black background to make it look good. Let's get some text. And Canva comes with some sample text. Let's try that one. And I'm going to ungroup it so I can edit it. We'll change that to say life. And we'll change that to say QRP. And then let's just make it bigger. Align to center. And then that centers them up with each other. Then I'm going to group them again. And then I'm going to align to page center. And I still think we can make that bigger. And I want a little bit better color on the QRP. And let's go red. Boy, that stands out. Blue. That works. Blue. Got it. Okay. And then I just need to save the file. Okay. This is macOS. And on macOS, we're just going to do brew install image magic. And when we're done, it's installed. Wait for the Raspberry Pi to boot up. Okay, and then this is a Raspberry Pi, and I bet you the command is exactly the same, but let's check it out first. Well, I bet you the package name is the same. You know what I mean. The interesting part to note is that magic is spelled with a K, M-A-G-I-C-K. And there it is, image magic. So on Raspberry Pi, it would be sudo apt install image magic. Just like on Mac OS, it was brew install image magic. Yes, I'd like to install it. And there it is. So there's only one difference between running it on Mac OS and running it on Linux. And that is the name of the command. On Linux, it's going to be the word convert. And on Mac OS, it's going to be magic. But other than that, the rest of the command is exactly the same. So we type in magic, and then we type in the name of the file, qrplife.png, or whatever it is that you called it, and whatever, whatever it is that you saved it as, whatever type it is. And then dash define bitmap format equals bmp3. And this will be down in the description below. So, you know, just watch what I'm doing and then copy and paste later. BMP3 is what got me caught up last time because uh, I just tried to convert it to a bitmap and that didn't work. Then I tried to convert it to a bitmap 4 and that didn't work. And then bitmap 3. And if that didn't work to 1, 
and then I would have gone and done some more research. And the video would have been a lot longer, but bitmap 3 it is. And then we tell it compress none, and qrplife.bmp is the file name to save it as. And on command line type stuff under a Linux type environment, no news is good news. So it would have complained if there was an error, but since there wasn't an error, it just did it. And now I have the file and I need to put it on my SD card. Your SD card is going to mount in a bunch of different places. File copying should be something that y'all have done billions of times before in your life, so I won't bore you with those details. What I will tell you is that on the SD card, there is a folder called IC705. Inside of that folder, there's a folder called Opening Picture, and that is the folder you need to save your bitmaps into. And then back here at the radio with the SD card put back in, I'm going to hit Menu, I'm going to hit Set, I'm going to scroll down until I see SD card, and I'm going to pick Opening Picture, and there's a couple of opening pictures on here. My logo, the bad bitmap, and the inception file. So if we pick the bad bitmap file, it's going to give us this illegal data error and it won't work. And then if we pick the inception file, it's going to give us the inception picture. And if we hit set, it'll say set the opening picture and we say yes. And then it will reboot automatically and show you the inception picture. There you go. And here is that QRP life image. I think that looks good because it fills up the whole screen. If it was smaller, it would be just that much harder to read. Set. Yes. Reboot. Ta-da! And there you go. A little bit of QRP flair to your QRP radio. If you can't baffle them with decibels, then at least you can dazzle them with screenshots. I don't know. It's worth a shot. Instructions in the video description down below. There's a video right over here I think you might enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.